it might I might need a new voice in the corner to hear. You know, I got used to Robert, me and Robert became brothers. Uh, you know, nothing against Robert. I love him to death. He got me where I'm at today, and I still respect him highly. You know, he's my I can I consider him family to me. Even though with all this bullshit, I consider him family to me. You know, I love Robert to death. Him and his family, Mike, all of them. I love them all to death. But I I call Robert. I talked to him face to face. I told him face to face. Like, hey, Robert, are you at the gym when he was in Oxnard? Still coming back and forth. He goes, yeah, I'm in the gym. I'm like, okay, I gotta go talk to you. So when I went back to him, I go, hey, Robert, I think about coming back. It was good, good, hell yeah. I know you still got in you just had bad camps, you had bad fucking everything, bad habits, everything. Just change this shit, we can do it better. But yeah, but you know what, I think I'm coming back, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna change it up, I think. I'm gonna use somebody else, I think I'm gonna use my pop. And he goes, and so he was like, he was down, I was, yeah, I was hurt, because you know, fuck, I'm talking to my fucking, my, my mentor, my, my brother, you know, it's like, so he was hurt, I was hurt. But then he goes, hey, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. And so, then I thought about it too, and I, when I said my dad, I thought about it, and I was like, wait, but it's kind of hard, because my dad's still working over there, he wants to get a retirement, then he'll come down here, he said. So he's still working, he can't just leave the job like that, where he worked so many years, and, and leave that job and come down here, and you know, who knows how the boxing world is some days. So, so I was like, fuck, so I need a second trainer. So I had my dad, my dad's another one still spot. You know, he's, he's just right now, he can't come this fight, but next fight will be there with me. And so I was like, I need a trainer here with me 100%. So, you know, I went on Google, honestly, just like, shit, no bullshit. I went on Google, I looked for uh, trainers in California, Southern California. You know, Fred Rose name popped up, this name popped up, I forgot. I forgot a couple names popped up. And then, Tim Goose Boxing, I mean like, because what you call it, uh, Tengu's uh, boxing gym, uh, what's his name, Joe Goose's name popped up, and and then it came out, Joe Goose, and I was like, fuck, Tengu's boxing, so I was like, Ricky's right there down the street, you know, what the fuck, uh, I'm gonna call Ricky, and I'm gonna DM Ricky, hit him in the DM, I hit him in the DM, and he got me to respond right back, he called me right away, and then I talked to him, I told him, hey, bro, I'm ready to, uh, I want to make a comeback. But, you know, are you willing to train me? And he goes, he goes, uh, sure, it'd be an honor, you know, fuck yeah. So I was like, hell yeah, then cool. He's like, well, come to the gym uh, Monday and we'll talk and everything, see where you're at on the scale and everything. I was like, fuck, scale. <laughs> and so I went in the gym, and I came Monday, I came in, and he was like, where you at? I don't know, but I'm pretty fucking heavy right now. And so I came in and he checked my weight, I was like 190. I was like, fuck. I was like, God damn, one night, I was eating great. That fucking time I took off, so I was eating great. And then, uh, so sure enough, he came in, we started working out really hard, you know, working hard. We could have took a fight right away, but we wanted to get to know each other more and more. So watch, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that this fight came at this time because a year I got to know Ricky, he got to know me, he got to know my body, and now we're fucking perfect, you know. Today I came in at 152. Uh, you know, working out, you know, I'm gonna be living easily, perfectly. Not only that, but the reason why I'm on is such on a good weight loss, because I have my girl Lisa. She's been, she's the chef. She's been tagging me for the past six months, fucking with me everywhere I go. She's feeding me everything constantly, keep my hunger down. And I have my other guy, Debbie Bullen, my nutritionist. He's in there. Uh, he's been communicating with her, telling her what to give me and everything. And, They've been doing a terrific job on the food-wise to keep my weight down, and I feel in fucking tremendous shape. My, I'm not sucked up like I usually at this point. I'm like really dead. Is so, this the first time in your career that you've worked with a nutritionist? First time my career I worked with a nutritionist. Wow. First time my career I worked with a nutritionist, and like, not I worked with the chef, but this time I had like a, a chef actually there with me 24-7. So it's the first time he has.